Hey, you remember to... something was up. I've got this on my face. That's why it looks really weird. I knew that something was up last night before going to bed and then I was having contractions in my sleep but I thought maybe I was dreaming or I don't know. I, um, But finally I woke up to go to the bathroom and they didn't go away. So I started timing them and they have been three minutes apart and now they're two minutes apart. I'm going to check and see like because I have an app going it doesn't tell me what time they started, but it's been at least an hour because I think I remember when I woke up, it was like 2.30. So we threw everything in the car as quickly as we could. I touched up my makeup so that I would feel, I don't know, I just wanted to. And we threw everything in the car and we're on the way. Nick was like making himself a coffee and slowly getting into the shower. So, uh, but in between contractions I feel fine and then all of a sudden first it feels like this pressure in my butt and then the contraction comes on really strong and they've been lasting for about 45 seconds for about an hour and now they're only two minutes apart so I I am praying that they'll let me get the epidural because I have never given birth without an epidural and I do not know if I have that kind of strength so Have room. I can carry this. Do you have room for my laptop in your backpack? Where's your laptop? Right here. TV Cribs Baby Edition. Oh, shh. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, it hurts. <laughs> 
breathe. Don't and, do it again. Don't and, do it again. And Nick. Breathe, 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 breathe. It's freezing in here. <laughs> in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Remember what uh, Rhonda told us in our first uh, Rhonda. training. Our trainer. Remember? Back in Houston. Thank God they're so fast. The contractions go by so fast, but they are freaking hurt. Want to check out the cervix? <laughs> you said this last time. You're like, this is like deja vu. I said the same thing. You did the same thing last time. You go, let's check it out down here. Yeah. It's freezing in here, which is why I have all these blankets. But Do they have like a paper ruler that I could use. By the way, my doctor is on call. They so. don't hand those out here. No, they don't. Paper hand rulers. Them. No, Nick. My doctor is on call, so, uh, yeah, that's good. I called her, lab, like, at, like, 11 p.m. last night because Reese was moving so much, and I was worried she was in distress, and she was like, the movement is good. You shouldn't be worried. You want to see that paper, the contraction on paper? That's what it looks like. <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> It's like a lie detector. Do you still find me attractive? <laughs> Pretty soon we're gonna have a little baby in here. Look, they got a little baby starter kit. Baby some huggies, some wipes. Oh. <laughs> what? I tried to pick it up and they have a <laughs> seal on it. They did that on purpose. Yep. Trey, you hungry yet? Hello. It's about six till five. It is. Get to my hop so up in here. So my contraction started at about 2.30 and when I got here it was at 4, on Friday it was one and a half. So my contractions were like on the way here they were two minutes apart. So yeah, Erin was frantically, she started getting ready scared. at 2 in the morning. The second my contractions start, I got up and did my makeup because I was like I will not go into labor looking haggard. No. And they're doing her makeup and I was and trying to sleep. She was like sitting on the edge of the bed like. I'm like, like get, get in the shower. Get in the shower. We gotta go. I'm dying. Breathe, 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 breathe. breathe. Stop it. Do not. Please do not. It doesn't make it better. I'm not trying to make it feels like the baby's gonna come out of my butt. For real. <laughs> I need that for drop right now. Is that... You want me to go get the nurse and tell her that? What? That you think the baby's coming out your butt? <laughs> that doesn't sound normal. Honey. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I'm gonna have a little baby pretty soon. Are they getting longer? I don't know. Okay, oh, by the way, last night KFC I checked her still heart open? rate. I checked her heart rate last night. It's normally like 140, and last night it was getting up to 180 before I went to bed. So I was getting really nervous because that mixed with her like thrashing and pushing down. I was like, I thought she was distressed, and I told Nick, and he was like, she's fine, and he just starts snoring right away. Oh, she and was the doctor freak. said that it was fine and everybody said it was fine but I was like no this is different something's going on and sure enough I was probably already in labor right after we stopped filming we had a moment I had a really really big contraction it was really painful I was in tears and uh, uh, Reese's heart rate I guess dropped really I couldn't hear it at all Nick said he could hear it and it was like extremely slow 
Um, and they, everybody rushed in here, and it was terrifying. They put oxygen on me immediately, flipped me over on all fours until they got her heart rate right back. But it was scary for a minute, but then we, it's okay. And then I got my epidural, and so now I'm at eight centimeters. And we're waiting for my doctor. I asked for some Zofran because I always get nauseous in labor. Um, but these are the worst contractions that I've had in all three of my pregnancies. Um, but we're good now, and now we're just waiting on the doctor. I'm sure that I'm going to progress soon. It's 625. Okay, and then we'll do that three times per contraction. Okay. Sound good? Do this. Come Six, on. Keep pushing. Seven, keep pushing. Eight, nine, Good. Just ten, like that. Right back at it. Big breath in. And push, breath push, 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 push. Good. And keep pushing. Keep pushing. Seven. Eight. Keep going. Nine. Ten. Let it out. Big breath in. Quick breath in. You can do this. Push as hard as you can. Good job, Erin. You got this. Four, good job. Keep five, pushing. Six. Seven. Yes. And eight, good job. Nine. Good, 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 good job. Keep pushing, eight, keep pushing, nine, keep pushing. Ten, let it out. And big breath in right back in. And one, two. Good, and you can do this. Five, you got it. Give it a little bit more. Yeah, right there. Let it out. Hold that. Good. And right back at it. Big breath in. And one. Just like that last one. Hold it. Hold it. Good. Just like that. She's getting so much closer. Eight. Nine. Good job. is the stubborn most stubborn child of all of them yeah she, she was hanging on hanging on to her mother's rib cage and she wouldn't come out i was pushing and pushing and pushing and it wasn't working she was not coming out no we had every nurse in our room it was really twice. scary they it had me flipping scary. back and forth because the heart rate kept going down so Nick said he saw it, but I didn't see it. But apparently the cord was around her neck, which I guess is common. Um, but that's probably why her heart rate was going down. Yeah, the cord was around her neck. So the nurses kept on freaking out because her heart rate was 
like really, really low. Really low. I could tell that something was wrong, but they kept because they kept making me flip over and over and over and over, like every just couple seconds. It wasn't even like a minute would go by, and they were kind of frantically trying to get her heart rate up. Um, and I then, didn't freak out until the lady yanked this thing out of the wall and started calling for assistance on the speakerphone. Yeah, I saw that too. That's that, when I was like, mm, "It's getting real." When she came out, I was so emotional. I was crying. I was like, I was so worried because they had to use a vacuum to help get her out, which with Adeline, she was out in two pushes, literally two pushes. I didn't even have to do it. Yeah. And look how big Adeline is. Adeline was the biggest one and she came out like nothing. And Reese is the littlest one. And she did not want to come out, but I guess it's because of the cord. It is all tangled up. That's so scary when you think about it, but they said she's totally fine and it, they unwrapped the cord like quickly. And it I don't think fine. she wanted to come out. I could see her sitting in your tummy like just like go bold up. Um, so right when she came out, we did skin to skin and we're nursing right now. So she's perfect. She is perfect. I thought she was going to be our biggest one, but she's our littlest. Can't wait to see what Adeline and Oh yeah, they're coming Skyla up here today. Do. But uh, Skyla's going to just. I don't even know what she's going to do. She's going to be an emotional wreck. Skyla? Yeah, she, I think she's going to start crying. Why? Just because she's going to be so happy. Adeline's going to be like, no. Adeline's just no. going to ignore it and act no. like it's not happening. She's just going to She's gonna be in denial. She'll probably just run around and play with the stuff. Oh, yeah, so okay. my mom is picking up his mom at the airport here in a couple hours, and then they're going to come and see us with the girls. So that's it. She's here. So that's going to be it for my labor and delivery vlog, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned. There will be lots more videos featuring our new family edition. <laughs> Bye. Bye.